Yo guys, what is going on? This is Yorkie Man here and I am back with episode 2 of my Football Manager 2017 save with Inter Milan. Now first of all, before we start off on the update, go through the fixtures, the transfers that have happened and play today's live com against Napoli, I just want to say like how thankful I am for the support on the first video and, and just the, the love that's been shown on it. It's much appreciated. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I am happy to be back and and making content again. Um, and then secondly, just like if these are taking a little bit of a while to get out, I'm just getting over like the pre like YouTube stresses that you have when you come back to YouTube with recording and setting stuff up. So hopefully they will come up come out a little bit quicker once I get into the rhythm of stuff but we're going to kick off with our first episode here I will start off with the transfers and some stuff happened and well it, it was something I said I would do well someone who I said I wouldn't sell um I caved I completely caved completely caved and sold him so Jonathan Biabiani, who I was like yeah he's a sound player he's a great right winger we're going to need him for this season yeah we sold him to Swansea Swansea needed him, they're struggling, um, and, and they, they paid 12.75 over a time period, and he, if we actually look, he, he's not fantastic, I'm not losing, I don't feel like I'm a bit of experience, not bad crossing, good dribbling, and he does have some pace, he's a rapid player, but I don't feel like we're overly losing too much. We also sold Christian Ascendi. Again, like guys, my <laughs> name pronunciation sucks, so I am sorry about that. Uh, we sold him. He also freed up a non-EU position. I don't know if you remember in the first episode, like we were struggling to figure out how the hell that worked. We sold him. And that cleared up a spot. We also sold Yo. Oh, phone gone off. We also sold Nagatomo as well to Dynamo Kiev for, in the end, six million happy days he's also a non-eu player so he also clears room off the books so that we can have more you know the better talent if i'm being honest for the the great non-eu talent the brazilians the argentines the great players like that nagamoto was not the one to have he's just not he's not a bad right back considering the depth we've got in the squad at that position but there's no need for him. He's marking 12, he's tackling 12. There was just no point keeping him. And the same for Christian as the centre back. He's 30, he's not bad, but he's not fantastic. So there's no point keeping him around if he's taking up a position that I could eventually fill. And we got a bit of extra money in. I didn't really spend all that. I brought in Ivy from Sevilla. Huge mistake. Don't know why I signed him. And we'll just brush over that one. But we also brought in Carl Jenkinson from Arsenal on loan, which is great because he's just basically fantastic cover for right back. And his marking is not fantastic, but I like to play um, a formation where my wing backs or full backs they push on, and he's crossing 15, so that's always a bonus. <coughs> Sorry, guys, if I do have to pause the cough, that's like ridiculous. That I went at Colts kicked in already. So let's look at the schedule, let's look at what happened. And you saw the friendlies, we played Fiorentina, we won 2 0 in in you know an unbelievable game that we played. We played extremely well. We then went to Sampdoria and beat them 2 1. Davide Santon and Davide Morella scored in the 90 of 91st minute um, after they went one up. We beat Roma 2-1, which I was quite surprised at. Eddie Zeko opened it for them. Perisic scores for us, and then Brazovic also scores to make it 2-1. We won our first Euro Cup game. We won our first Euro Cup game 3-0. Gary Medal, Jean Mario, and Eva Benega. Happy days. Then we played against Sassuolo, who are a pretty decent team. I feel like we should have won this game, but we didn't. You win some, you lose some. There's nothing I can do about that. And a draw is not bad from a team that I, you know, a team of their stature. Then went and beat Torino 3 1. Torino have Andrea Bellotti, who is um, 
Well, he, unfortunately, I would have gone in for him, but I feel like every single person in the world is trying to pick him up, so that's why I haven't. He'd be a fantastic striker for us, though. I don't know if he's back up yet for Akadi. I think he's probably a little bit too good and needs more game time, but he scored for Torino. But Akadi scored for us twice, and Carlos Vela getting his first goal for the club. We then went to Atalanta and this is where we started to kind of fall off a little bit which was very frustrating. This should have been a draw if I had not pushed and Davide Santon getting sent off definitely spurred us to go downhill and uh, Gomez scored for them to make it 1-0. Our first loss, I mean seeing that much green in a YouTube series save for me is just like ridiculous. Then we played against Midiad. Um Is Midiad or Midiland? I, I'm not sure. Again, guys, a bunch of names. Get used to it. We went one up with Davide Santon, who makes up for the fact he got sent off in the last game, maybe a little bit. They scored then with Pusic. Then they scored again. And I was just like, oh my god, am I this cannot is this the phase, you know, like a football manager when you get one loss and they just roll in one after one after one. Luckily Miranda scored late on in the game to rescue a point and that put us joint top of the group, I think. We then went against Chievo, who <clears throat> I felt like we should probably win. And and this is when I said, like, after this game, I was like, right, I need to really start to fiddle with the tactics. Because, like, the service to Akadi was just non-existent. The team, quite simply, in a tactic that played so well for other games, played terrible. And we should be beating a team like Chievo. No offence to them. So, we step in today's game with Napoli in a pretty healthy position, I feel. We're fifth from 13 points. Apart from Juventus, that are going to steal away with the league, which I expect this season, and I am not looking to win the league this season. And quite simply put, would be happy to finish in the top three. I'm pretty sure I said that I would, yeah. That's the only downfall. I probably should have said that I would finish in the Euro Cup. But I did say that we could finish in the top three and hopefully we can qualify for Champions League this year. And I believe with the right push we can do. There is some money to spend in January, so if you want to leave your your point your viewpoint on what we should do in January and players we should go for, that is, you know, more than appreciated. But we're gonna enter this game today with Napoli not playing so well but only three points off us and us really realising that we could do with a win. Team selection. <coughs> right, so this is the formation I'm going to play. I've played about with it. Hopefully, this is the formation that is going to do some kind of damage in this game today. I, I'm so nervous about because I don't know if it's going to work. If Jensen can, Jen, ugh, Jenkinson and Santon can play well in that position and three centre backs, centre backs hold out. Shell Mario is not suited to play like that though. Deep line playmaker. It's going to be interesting. It's, it's going to go one or two ways. I even want to play him. Medell is back. Um, you see, the only problem is, is we've got decent wingers and they don't play in this formation. Uh, da, 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 da. I feel like maybe play Carlos Vela there. Or play Vela as the false nine. And play. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. Also, I, you might have seen it, guys. Davide Morella scored a goal for us. He is 16 year old. He, he's got unbelievable potential and he's progressing so well. But he scored his first goal for the club. It was unreal. I was like crazy. There is actually some great youth in this in the Milan squad, with Andrea Pinamonte as well who is like through the roof potential so I'm like really excited about what the future holds for players like that anyway let's get into this game hopefully we are um, we're, we're gonna see a win here we need it I, I need to end the run but Napoli is such a tough game but I'm just hoping the fact that they lost Higuain this year that they're they're just you know awful but that doesn't tend to be the case, does it? Sent assistant. I li I don't know if you guys do team talks and stuff, but I literally send my assistant to everything. It might need to be changed, but 
I do send him to pretty much everything. Calm. Uh, have faith. Calm. Have faith. See, th we should be a threat going forward. Akadi, Vela, and Jovetic. We should be a threat. Come on, lads. We just need to get a win. We need to get back back into a position of power in in the league. And just just put some run like a run together. We're at home. Come on, lads. The, like Napoli are, are underperforming at the minute, though. So that that sometimes when I think can mean that they're going to try and prove a point and they're going to push us. And I that's that's not the way I want this game to go. Dull game so far, though. Ridiculous. If you're still here, guys, and you're watching the video, I'd just like to say thank you very much for still watching. If you are new and this is the first time you've watched it, please make sure to hit subscribe. And Akadi scores 1 0, lads. 1 0. Akadi, and, and I've struggled. Akadi's only got two goals, and that was in the same game. I've really struggled to get a formation where my strikers actually do something. So that's exciting. If I have to play around with formations constantly, I will do. As long as we get the right results. 1-0. Well done, Mario Akadi. But anyway, guys, remember, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate that so much. Ciao, Mario. Jovetic. Brazovic. Oh, 2-0. Oh, my God. Second live comp in a row where we've gone 2-0 up early. This is ridiculous. What kind of goal is it? Beautiful. I'm so happy. Uh, maybe the change in formation, the fact that this formation isn't so um, outright attacking and we're trying to control the football and what we do and, and have a bit of better build up play is, is the reason why we're winning. 2 0. Come on, boys. I've noticed you get more highlights <coughs> on key this year in some games, but not in all games. Like, it can be a little bit different. Let's gain confidence. We encouraged them. We encouraged these players. I feel like Napoli are definitely in a building stage. Is Malk or, or Milk? Um, Milek? I think who, who they signed up front. I saw him play for Poland. He played for Ajax, didn't he, before? I saw him play for Poland in the Euros. and He, he looked impressive, but didn't finish. He struggled to finish. And I think... They're definitely going to be... He's still young. I think they're going to be in like a big transition period. Higuain was huge to them because of the goal count. Santon. Brazovic. Jenkinson. Good crossing. Oh, yes. That has to be the final punch. Mario Cardi makes it 3-0. Jenkinson's cross. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. This is like... This is glorious to me. I thought I was coming into this live comment, I'm not going to lie guys, I felt like, oh, damn, I'm in for this. I am absolutely in for this. The team is underperforming. Alan's about to get sent off as well. We've got a European game after this as well, so I have to kind of factor that in. I have been playing very much like second squad in the European games, I guess you could say. So let's bring on Pinmoniente. For his first game, I feel like he's advanced forward. Cardi is going to come off as well. Um, Antonio Candavero hasn't actually played a game of football for me, and he's supposed to be good. I think I'm going to sell him though. We'll bring him on for Cardi, and he can play in Jovetic's position. Right, okay, he says he can play there quite comfortably, but is he better? No. Right. He hasn't played a single game yet. I'm thinking about selling it because his value is like um, 50 million or whatever it is. Oh, I thought we were in for another. Pepe Reina, you are having a nightmare, son. Only one clear cut chance. I've had games where I've had so many more clear cut chances and we've, we've lost in the past couple of games. So the, this is nuts. But we've just seen with our approach, every time we're coming forward, that we look deadly. And that is what I want. The, the, <coughs> the fact we're not using wingers is a little bit of a worry because we've got such great wingers. Oh, Dries Mertens is nippy. We've got such great wingers, but 
if if I have to play a form- formation without wingers, whatever it takes to get wins, basically, is I know it's so shit, but whatever it takes to get wins, I'm gonna do it in this save. Jay Rabio coming in there for Jean Mario, and and now I can play. I'll, I'll play a much weaker squad in Europe. I know I I should. I think we'll we'll get through the group. The group's not a difficult group, and then once I'm through the group, that's when I'll start to take it seriously because obviously. The Euro Cup is a window into Champions League football. Is this going to be the end of the game? Surely. Surely teach pitch that up there. That's got to be the end of the game. Go on. Santon. One last dagger. Ah. Rabio. Santon. Played in. Oh, Pinomiente. I'm maybe saying his name wrong, man. You'll have to correct me. That's it. Full time lads, three nil. I'm 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 overjoyed, absolutely overjoyed. The lads played well as well. We we played so well, superb man. Man of the match has got to be Akadi with the double. Calm, very happy with the way he played. Three nil man, and that moves us to fourth. Now, I'm pretty sure we have to finish top three. No, it's doable, but it's, like I say it's going to be tough because there's going to be teams in and around there. But I, I literally, I genuinely believe uh, Juventus will finish first. So I, I look at it as second or third. So top two, say. We need to finish in, in that to get Champions League football. And I think it will be between Roma, AC Milan, and us. So it's, <laughs> it's going to be really frustrating if we don't. I, I'd hate to lose the job just because we don't. If that makes just because we finished fourth, that would really annoy me. Mario Accardi scoring, which is fantastic, three uh, nil. Antonio Canavera. I don't know if I'll use him if I'm not using wingers. He does look good, but he's twenty nine. If I could get like twenty million for him, we could certainly go in for someone a little bit better. I was looking at. Um, transfer listed players which is all well and great but I was also looking at like I wanted to make like a record transfer signing for Alex Tejera because like uh, the dude is an animal he is a beast I don't know how good he is on this game but he he's an animal I loved him at Shakhtar he's like such a brilliant player and I don't understand why he went to China but hey ho but maybe Roberto Firmino would be a great player as well that would fit into the squad. But I had a look at a couple of players and, you know, we, we've got options. And that's what's great. Kurt Zuma looks good, but it'll be interesting just to see the put in the transfer window. But anyway, guys, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the fact that we just beat Napoli and we're actually on a save that we're doing well. I'm pretty sure I'm usually heading towards the sack and down in the dumps about conversations right now in life when it comes to this but it's going really well thanks a lot for watching guys i'll catch you in the next episode which will hopefully be a little bit quicker uh, i'm trying to churn them out this one should be out like a couple of days after the first one or maybe three days after the first one and i'm hoping to try and get three a week out um i know that's not tons but i'm hoping for three a week anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you soon